What's up, guys? Uh, Georgia. So I fought the uh, Memlicks, and then I fought Montefique, took some territory. I'm going to build up Basra and Baghdad. I can't take Baghdad yet because that's a lot of aggressive expansion. So I went to the Gulf of Persia. So I now have a couple of ports over there. So I'm going to start building roads, build up Basra. And then uh, that opens the way to India over there. So for now, since I, I took out all of Anatolia, and the aggressive expansion over here is pretty high, um, I'm risking a potential coalition. I don't think one's going to form. And even if it does, they're not going to attack me because I'm allied with uh, France, the Empire of the Romans, and Muscovy, so I doubt they attack me. And I have a truce with uh, the Mamluks, so that's not going to happen. But in the meantime, I declared war on Poland. They have a bunch of Orthodox territories, so I think I'll go back there and uh, take some of those territories from them. It's a lot of pop-ups. Let's see, war enemies. Uh, they were allied with Denmark, but Denmark didn't join. I think because they were dealing with rebels. So I thought it was a good time to pounce on them. They have less morale and less discipline. We'll go ahead and restrict looting. Ooh, there's a revolt in Tabriz. Um, so that's 20 unrest. We don't have the unrest. We don't have the uh, ability to take this. I don't want to gain autonomy, though. That's all right. It'll drop. I don't want unrest. I think that's the second time now that uh, Memluk stopped being my rival, so I think we're at the point where they're soon going to not be our rival permanently, which is unfortunate, because I like taking those ducats from them. It's very easy just to take Cairo, grab ducats, war reps, and then build up my country. Speaking of building up my country... I still have the ducats from the last war. Let's see, I think I said Karaman was going to be my regional capital, so... There is 82,000 people here. I don't think I want to build. I don't want to build a customs house because we're still we still have a, a buffer of forty thousand because this is up to one hundred twenty thousand people and there's only eighty thousand here. So customs house is the main benefit from that. We're not going to get. I think I'll just try and uh, I'll just build roads. cover 25% of that. Toro Slar is another one. 40,000. We'll build a warehouse there. Then Basarabia. We'll build a City Hall, that's building a Basilica. I think that's it for now. They do have 2,000 troops coming to my fort. Excuse me, sir, please get off. Please leave my fort alone. That is very rude of you. I just built a building there. You're you're impeding its progress. I 
Oh no, it's too late for you. Hey, another plague. Um, this sounds like American or Chinese. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I'm just going to assume that's Chinese. Because that's pretty much where it's been the entire campaign. Oh yeah, they got stack wiped. Where are you guys running to? You can't run from me. Oh, Denmark, Norway went back to Denmark. So Norway got their independence. Denmark has Trachei and Heilig Volhilna as vassals. Weird. We're going to go up here, take this fort, and take this entire area. A spy network would help. Royal Monopolies. Um, burgers lose 5 loyalty, gain 170 ducats. Burgers gain 5 loyalty, lose 170 ducats. And then there's some... Konya gets something. Two negatives, so... Uh... So I pay 170 ducats, I get 5 loyalty. I spend an extra 2 loyalty and I get like 250 ducats. That was a misclick. Whoops. My hand slipped. I wanted to do the second option. Oh well. It happens. Let's see, let's grab some of these territories. Poland's actually pretty big. It's a thick Poland. I feel like Poland either gets wrecked or they get really big. There's no in-between. There are either two provinces or 70 provinces. Can I take these? Okay, I can take these territories. I kind of wanted Kiev when Muscovy had it. So I, I, I really want to take Kiev. It's actually only two provinces inland, so it's actually not that far. So we'll go ahead and uh, help out Poland because we're nice like that. Apparently I'm lacking a transport ship, so we'll build one. You're welcome, Poland. Hey, there's a new baby.
Don't say I never helped you out, Poland. Uh, let's see. Casual literacy spawned in that province. Which is probably the worst province for it to spawn in. It's so far away. We're going to have to uh, do that thing. Knowledge share. More than likely. You know what I hate? I hate when you take a province and then you destroy the local fortifications. That's annoying. More revolts? People don't like our rule, apparently. I'm a benevolent ruler. They should love being under us. Yeah, you better run away. Get out of here. Don't even think about it. I think because I'm going to try to go to India. I'm probably not going to get the Suez Canal. So, I'm going to need to build a bunch of troop a bunch of transports over here. And then it'll be like Russia and I'll just have two armies or two navies and different uh seas. It's gonna suck because I'm gonna need like 30 extra naval force limit just to build transport ships over here. So in that vein, I'm gonna need ship rights. Should be some uh, good provinces over here, like this one. We'll build one here in Crimea. This autonomy is 50%. It's not great. 50%. I don't want to state it, though. I don't want to state either of those. And 50% uh, is 2.5 force limit. So I'm not sure if that's worth it. Five hundred ducats, uh, sure. All right, you give me all of these provinces. That is all of the provinces that I can take. And ducats. And war reps. And you revoke your cores. We're at thirteen percent, and we need eighty four. We have to march on their capital. First, we have to march there. You know, 
I'm not sure why I can actually uh, appropriate church property. It's kind of enticing me, though. I know it's going to give me massive unrest. I'm just wondering how much money they would give me. It's got to be at least 3,000 ducats. I know it caps out at 4,000 ducats. You can't get more than 4,000 ducats. Which, uh... Leads me to believe that it's not worth it. I don't think it's worth it even for, like, 3,000 ducats. Just because I would get unrest, like, 10 unrest in every single province I own. Because most of my provinces are orthodox. And Poland is trying to sneak around. Muscovy. Alright, maybe we'll cancel the war ups. You can keep your cores. But I want those territories. You gotta give me those territories. Kiev exists. Oh, Kiev, uh, Kiev was released from uh, Denmark. It's kind of weird because Kiev is normally down here. Hey, would you accept vassalization? I do have a slot. Um, I was actually going to plan on using that slot for Damascus so I could take the Mamluks territories. But come to think of it, I do want to annex the knights. So that's an idea. I have no idea where Poland is going. So we'll just rush their capital. That's annoying. There's some troops that stayed over there. Can I call in Muscovy? Ah, oh, this is truce breaking. Because Muscovy is right there. Alright, so we'll rush their capital, take it, see what that does, and then if I have to, I'll just walk back, take out those troops, and take that province back. Or however many provinces they take, depending on how long this takes. The Polish troops... okay. That's annoying. That is also annoying. Alright, you know what? Um, you know what, Poland? Wondering if I should take 
six developments. Uh, Just give me those four provinces. Do I want a royal marriage? No, I do not. It doesn't fit our agenda. I now own... Kivian core provinces, so they won't. Well, that's fine, because I didn't want you in his vassal anyway. You don't reject me, I reject you. Alright, I'm going to uh, end this part here, pick it up in the next part. Uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll take out these rebels, and then uh, pick it up from there. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.